Hello, this is a little video to feature um, a macro solution for a little problem. So, inspiration from the um, Discord group. Is there a way for me to program a change in direction for FX playbacks built using Shape Generator without doing an include, changing the direction and re recording it? This is a question a couple of days ago. Um, and here is the example. So very simple. I just patched a couple of demos um, and I made a playback which contains a shape. You see that it's a demo saw. And usually if you wanted to change the direction, you would go a very long way, which would be include the playback. Here we go. Then you go to shapes and effects, shape generator, you change the, um, probably you even have to select this shape, but right now we go to direction and change the direction here. And then you have to re-record this here and merge the new information into this. So this is how it is usually done. But of course, I have a little trick up my sleeves. I simply click there on random and now it's randomized or click on left to right or right to left. This even works if it is, remember it is right to left right now. And if I now with the shape playback um, being released, I click on direction random and now lift it. Now it's randomized. How did I do this? It is about macros I told you and we open our web browser here. We type in a new address which is avolites.de slash wiki. Yeah, it's avolites in Germany but the wiki is in English, here we go. You, there is plenty of information there, but the easiest way to find what you want to do is you go to the search box, type in direction, hit enter, and you find matching page names. And one of them is set all shapes direction. This is what we want to do. Okay, so here everything is explained. The functions are linked, information, wherever you look. What we do, we do the quick one. The file with all macros for all possible directions is available here. Right click, save as, and save this to our macro folder. I'm using the um, Titan PC suite, and in that case, it is in Documents, Titan Macros. And there we save this um, XML file. Save. Of course, you can also use it on consoles. And now this is from another program. I don't need it here. So, and now toggle back to our um, Titan installation. Of course, we do a new, um, to to make you believe what I show you is I saw a new show. So go to disk, new show. Okay. Um, now go to patch, demos. Ah, I hit fixtures instead, demos. And patch them here, like so. 15 demos. Exit the patch menu open the capture window so that we see something. Now select the demos, go to shapes and effects, shape generator, create, demo shape, demo saw, and type in 15 for spread. Here we go. And record. Here we go. Clear exit. And now we have a new playback containing a dimmer spread. I showed you the long way how to change the direction. And now let's have a look. Macros. 
um, view all. Here is lots of macros, and because we have now imported this into the uh, proper folder, we have the all shape direction macros here. So all shape direction none, all shape direction bottom left in, all shape direction button middle, and so on and so forth. And you can either um, use them directly from there, like we click on um, random or right to left, or you copy them wherever you want. So copy or move, it's up to you. Copy. Um, we can simply use all these and copy them into the group window, for instance. Um, whether it makes sense or not is up to you. So just put it there, put it there, and click on left to right, for instance. Direction right to left, direction left to right. And this is how it works. Um, yeah, that's what I wanted to show you. And as I showed you before, it works on all shapes, regardless if they are released or not and where they re are recorded. So this is how XML macros are used. Have fun.